Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Ritchie Belt map for Farm Sim 19. Yes, indeed. Uh, I got the rest of the logs loaded. Of course, that... Well, I didn't notice we actually have had one go a little bit astray, eh? Hmm. Oh, well. At any rate, that was insanely easy to load, of course. As soon as you go off camera, it's like... Used the front loader, pushed everything together, you know, or the wheel loader, I should say. Picked entire bundles up at a time and dropped them into the trailer. They fell in there like they were, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those. But anyway, good enough. However, today is the first day of mid-spring. Yes, indeed, mid-spring. The temperature is a glorious 10 degrees Celsius. And, uh, more importantly, the ground temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. And that means, my friends, we can plant our corn. So, today's mission, should you decide to accept it, is to find a tractor and a planter and plant corn. So, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, so we're going to grab the OI 8675R. <laughs> no idea why they're called OI. But, uh, and I believe, uh, cultivator, cedar, planter, maybe? Mm. Yeah, that's nice. And it'll be alright. Okay. And what would we like to... What you doing, man? Oh, right. That's got that... See, this one needs that option of having a different hitch height. Because when it extracts its uh, little stand, it just about jacks the poor tractor through the roof. But that seems to be its only real issue. Um, sorghum. Well, this is... Nah. Uh-huh. Oh, we missed it. Darn, we can't go back, however, can we? Can we? Is there a way to go back? Corn. There we are. Dun, 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 dun. And we're completely full. Alright, let's head out. Now, of course, the other big question is being this far into the season. Is our grass ready to cut? <laughs> Not with a chainsaw, but... No. Hmm. 67%. Uh, I had so hoped. So very much hoped. So the amazing fellow that created this map told me that uh, apparently the wind noise only happens when he puts seasons on it. If you take seasons off the map, that wind quote-unquote noise goes away. So interesting. And uh, hopefully my little bit of a spiel and blurb will help out a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was not meant as a complaint. It was simply a, an observation and then an explanation of the observation. <laughs> I know that uh, the usual A-hats that hang out on the internet have been given Old Man a bit of a hard time about his map. Um, I, would, I, I didn't actually see that part of it, but I noticed on Facebook where you commented that 
pretty much that if people disliked the map that much rather than just being raggy about it maybe they should go play a different map and quite frankly dude i absolutely agree with you the amount of work that has gone into this map and is still going into this map um should pretty much just plain shame anyone that thinks about speaking up about how poor something is having done many 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 map reviews let me tell you this is a golden example of a map done right. I've done maps that are so bad that you just... Half the objects on the map aren't even touching the ground. You know? So, I don't know what the complaints were about the map. As I said, I didn't see that part of it. Um, I don't actually hang around on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not, uh, not really one of them folk. But, I do check into it because there are some things like oldman's farming posts that do interest me so what can i say but beyond that yes i know that he is working diligently on some new factories working diligently on the uh, the greenhouses well i think for the most part they've done they're done I do actually have them on the map here, um, and I have tested them in my other version of the map, which I just sort of start fresh every time just to make sure there's no conflicts with anything else. Because I, I hate tearing all the mods out of this one and blah blah blah. I have to do that when I switch over to the server as it is. I don't run the same instance of the game. Like, I don't just swap a mod folder, I swap the entire game, basically. Um, but yeah, the greenhouses seem to function really well. So as soon as uh, as soon as I hear that they are ready for public consummation, I will uh, I will run over there and start them up, and of course bring you guys along so you can see just how amazing they are. Much like the orchards, they are uh, you know you look at them and you go, hey, there's a modder that's not lazy and actually made the effort to you know put all the parts in the right places, make sure they are insanely well labeled um i mean heck even if the labels were in german the pictures on them are clear enough that you could go oh that's where i place poop you know yeah <laughs> better labeling than you'll find in a foreign airport anyways i've actually never been to a foreign airport so i don't know why i use that as a reference not to say i haven't flown i just haven't flown anywhere out of this country I've always gone by sea or by land. Alrighty. Now. like to actually go and have a look at our other fields. I just want to see what sort of stage they're in. Now, this should be in germinated, I would think, at this point. Um, they were planted, well, I was going to say only two days ago, but that's actually, you know, two months ago. So, no, it wouldn't be two months. What would it be? We're running, what, six days, right? So, about two weeks per day. So yeah, that they definitely should be germinated by now. I find seeds generally germinate within five to ten days, depending on the seed and depending on how well they were kept. Some considerably faster. Um, the organic oat seed that I use for my cat grass it has usually sprouted within three days, and within five days it's three inches tall. I swear it grows almost as fast as bamboo. Which I do believe is the fastest growing grass on the planet, if I'm not mistaken. So, pretty impressive when you come close. Beans I find, hmm, about eight days to germinate, 
uh, cannabis seeds about three days uh, strawberries oh, two weeks so yeah there is a fair variance I guess and I think strawberries took about the longest I've seen consistently but then again those were strawberries that were actually plucked from fresh strawberries and then put into the uh, fridge for a couple of months to simulate the hibernation period where they sort of harden off and a few of the uh, the internal enzymes change the, the proteins that are in it so that it becomes food for the new plant but um, yeah it's kind of an important stage ah that's being wimpy I'll be here for a month if I go on that small a row so let's bring you over here now We're going to uh, hire a local here for a moment because I do want to go across and have a look. Blocked. I am not an object. Don't ever call me that again, helper F. I oh, know, I know why they call you F. Oh. Well, we're actually past germination. We are into growing. Excellent. So we got 0%, well, that's here. 0% weed, shall we? 100% fertilization. Very nice. Wow. Well, so far this is looking like a really good wheat field. Really good. I'm impressed. I think we did a good job. <laughs> yeah, me and my crew are hired workers. Alright, this field is not looking so sprouty. What do we got going on here? Ah, sunflowers germinated. I see. And 66% fertilized. Okay. So we're going to want to run some fert over here. I can deal with that. I'm going to have to trust you to do that for a little while. Is that good with you? Who have they got? Who do we end up with here? Alright, well, he's not my first choice, but he should do alright. At, at worst, we'll have to run uh, kind of a headland row down the end on each here. Not that he can't turn around, it's just if he does the let's leave pretty triangles all over the field thing, then yeah, we might have to run one row on each end. In the meantime... Let's check on the state of our critters. Uh, chickens looking good. Looking really good. Way to go, ladies. Now, uh -oh, I did buy a rooster, did I not? Oh. Apparently all these Cornish crosses are male. Oh, and a rooster. That's weird. Um, if these are all males, aren't these all roosters? I don't know. I really don't know anything about it. <laughs> and this is from someone that's actually kept chickens once. Not often, mind you, once. Alright, so they could use a little more of the old straw haw. In TMR, we just don't have that choice at the moment. We just don't. So. <laughs> right. Making the poop. Good to see. Good to see. Because we need that. We need that for our greenhouses. We need it really bad. Alright, now. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to use you, actually, for this task. So, thank you.
Oh, right. This doesn't actually have that. Hmm. Well, we can't leave that sitting in the middle of a parking lot, then. Yeah, this doesn't have a three-point on the front. It just has its own... kind of custom rack. See? So... We'll just go set this down over here. Lovely. Alright, let's go grab ourselves a Pertaminator. That is the proper technical term for one of these, isn't it? A Pertaminator? No? No. Well, I'd say live and learn, but in my case, of course, it's live and forget, so... That's point. I just forget. Alright, well, the only thing we seem a little shy of is the fact, well, it's empty. So... And we're not making our own yet. So, it is time to look at the magic map. Magic map. And... Uh -huh, uh -huh. My... Oh, we can buy TMR. We can buy TMR. <laughs> Alright, but first things first. Uh, the station, the fertilization. Nope, that isn't it. There we are, that's the one. Let's tag it and bag it. Now let's head. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Alright. Head that way then, shall we? Dee -dee -dee -dee. Yeah, I really found that quite upsetting when I read on Facebook that people were ragging on Old Man for making the map. I mean, you know. If you're going to do that, you better have a link to your amazing map right below your complaint and go, this is the way that it should be done. And then what your for the person looks at, it better be bloody perfect, I'll tell you. Otherwise, well, it's just so much more internet-related hot air. I said, people that, people have said things to me on the internet that if they'd met me face to face, they just would not have the cojones to say, believe me. I might be an old man, but there's still lots of people to get a little nervous when I'm around. Mainly, I suppose, because I'm just crazy. Now, yeah. Off to the green beam. Always follow the green beam. It's a little ways, isn't it? But that's right, I completely forgot about that. That's why we placed our own TMR station, because the one that's on the map isn't actually a place to make TMR. But, you can buy it. In fact, you can buy it by the freaking trailer load, if that's what uh, makes you a happy, happy, joy, joy kind of person. So, why not, right? But, as I say, today, well, today, first of all, I am going to go buy some TMR, now that I know that I can. But, first things first, and the first thing is... Fertilizers. And hopefully our hired worker isn't being an absolute banana. Oh, by the way, bud, um, I believe if you teleport to those stations, you end up trapped underneath the silos. Here, let me just... get ourselves cooked care of here. And there's no cover on this, is there? No, it is on that tool. Oops. I turned on the flashlight and jumped out of the tractor at the same time. 
I didn't even know I was that talented. Alright. Is that solid fertilizer? You know what? I think what it is. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Well, 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 hell. Um. Well, that's a line. And those, unfortunately, are just for show. So, hmm. Well, well. I have not impressed me. Oh, you can buy solid ferts, too. But like I said, that doesn't really... Doesn't really help. Hmm. All right, well. Ah, silt. Hmm. Okay, well that really kind of sucks, because you know what that means. It means we've got to go all the way back to the shop to buy this. So this was a complete waste. Hmm. Well, you know, that's really too bad. That is really too bad. Hmm. Well, what to do, eh? So, I guess we're just gonna have to go to the shop and, uh, buy a pallet to spray me now. Hmm. Well, I guess if there isn't a liquid fertilizer station on the map, I could put one on the farm. I didn't put any of the others because they are on the map. I suppose I could have just got a solid fertilizer spreader, too. That would have actually uh, made more sense, because then it would have been more compatible with the map. But hey, let's not waste our time out here. Let's uh, take advantage of it and see how this field is doing. Alright. This is our oats. It's growing, 100% fertilized. Alright, doing very, very well as well. Good to see. Good to see. We don't need that on. We know it's... Uh, no matter how hard you try, you're just not going to get liquid fertilizer out of a solid fertilizer tank. <laughs> so... Here's what we're going to do. Oh, actually, I don't know if I even have the mod, so... Yeah. <laughs> this might be a, a bit of an exercise in futility. And yes, I think it's going to be... Yep, I don't have it. I don't have the, uh, the mod that gives you all the fancy extra tanks. So... Hmm... Oh, look, we're working on our second bundle of wool. Sweet. 
Oh well, I guess we needed an excuse to drive by our uh, hired worker. Uh-oh. Helper F has stopped. His tank is empty. Well, there you go. Just when you're about to go, well, let's check on the hired worker. And they kind of check on themselves. All right. Well, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. I wonder what tank is empty of what. Oh, look how close he was, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Corn planted, 66%. You were on the last row. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Man, what did you run out of? Better not be fertilizer. No, seeds. Lots of fertilizer. Okay. And what have you done? Is that lifted and ready to go? or? Yeah? Okay. Let's go get you some goody-goody gumdrops. Hopefully I've still got some seeds. Otherwise it's a long drive back to get a trailer full of seed. Oh. Now I know we have some seeds because our little seed factory has been producing, but I think we only dumped enough in there that there's like, I'm gonna say 8,000? Maybe a little better? Does that not open a cover on this one? Oh yeah, it does, but we don't know if it'll be the right ones. Um, yeah, those are the seed covers, okay, perfect. So, now, if we drive this directly under... There we are. Yeah, yes, pl oh, we still got lots in there. Well, not lots, but certainly some. Okay. Oh, we might as well. <clears throat> there we are. Yeah. Close everything up. Beautiful. Let's go set them to finishing their job, shall we? Yeah, because of the weird mistakes that AI makes, I never leave the, uh, allow them to buy seeds or fertilizer or anything else on. You know, like that one AI, as soon as I, he got to the end of the row, rather than going down the next unplanted row, would start back on stuff he'd already done. And did that a couple of times. Who knows how much money that would have cost if he'd been paying for the seeds and the fertilizer while doing it. All right, we have a cornfield. Lovely. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So. Here we are. As I said, we know how a cornfield. Alright. So I think that's pretty much going to do it for the episode, guys. But, um... 
Yeah, I'm going to go and fill this guy up. And then we'll be able to uh, finish off with some fertilizing of the fields there. But that's going to have to be another day. For now, this has been Species 7 for the Ritchieville map. Awesome map. Don't forget to support Old Man 102. There are links in the description down below. Till next time, though, folks, do take care of each other. <laughs> Nobody else will. Ciao for now.